What is up people, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see from the title, we're gonna be making three of my favorite cutting meals, cutting recipes that you can put into your day if you're on a cut or you're about to start a cut. So when you're on a cut, that means you're actually burning more calories than you're consuming. So when you're thinking about meals and recipes, it needs to be less calories than usual, high protein, volume, and we're gonna do that today. So what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna put timestamps on the video so you can skip to the next recipe. But like I said, there's gonna be three recipes which I'm gonna be making throughout the day. I'm gonna make two, go to the gym, come back, and make the other one. Before the video starts as well, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please do so. We are nearly at 3,000. So keep supporting the channel. I am forever grateful, and we keep going every single day. Anyway, meal number one. You might have actually seen this recipe before but maybe in a higher calorie way but basically what we're going to be making is a less calorie version of my egg and cheese burrito which we'll have in the morning so same as before we are going to be using three eggs and why oh, i just cracked that mozzarella cheese grated mozzarella cheese and we're going to be needing one large plain tortilla the way i'm going to be cooking eggs is in a pan the first step we're going to need is some fry light and I'm going to be using the butter spray. And the reason we're using the fry light is because it is one calorie per spray. So compare that to oil, which is for even a tablespoon, it is maybe around 15 grams of fat, which is way over 100 calories, where this is only, like I said, 10 calories at most. What we're going to be doing is using three egg whites. So we're going to be taking the fat out of it, pretty much by taking the yolks out of it. Yes, I do love yolks, and in terms of an egg, yolks are always perfect, but reducing the calories, keeping protein quite high, we'll take the yolks out. What I will say is you don't need to take the yolks out of this if you want to keep the calories slightly higher. That is optional, but what I'm doing in this video is just showing you like the lowest calorie way possible. The way that's gonna do it is you want to kind of fold the eggs around, so you're basically scrambling the eggs, then we're going to add the cheese. And add some salt. Obviously. And then I'm just going to add the cheese. So around 30 grams. Fold the sides in. Lay it out like that. And then flip this over. Tuck everything in. Tuck the sides in. And then you've got your wee wrap place in and to be honest with you you can add absolutely anything to this like spinach something that's going to build up the volume i'm just sick of spinach that is it and here we have it people it is my first meal so Topping it off with some tomato sauce. That is crazy good. That is absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. And I'll see you for recipe number two. For the second recipe, what I'm trying to do is maybe get breakfast, lunch, just a snack. We're going to be using a smoothie blender, that's what I meant to say. We're going to be using frozen bananas and we're going to be making a smoothie bowl. So I've seen hundreds of different ways to do this. It's basically just a smoothie in a bowl. Smoothie bowl. So we're going to be using around 200 grams of banana. Okay, so frozen banana. Pop that in there. We're also going to do one scoop of salted caramel protein. Boom. So one teaspoon of honey, put it in the blender and that'll bring some natural sweetness to the actual recipe. So there we go. Mm. And what you're going to need to do is blend it a little bit so it mixes and then get your spoon, mash it around a little bit again. It needs to create that thick texture. To add some milk so i'm just gonna add some almond milk for this one because it's lower calories and i'm talking like a splash if you need a bit more then you can also just add more okay 
So that took around two minutes. It normally takes a while because of how thick it is. Let's just show you. Mmm. So cold. It just tastes like frozen yogurt. So this is the smoothie bowl, but it's added protein, added honey, chia seeds, and that's it. Just freezing, that's all, but absolutely perfect. It is kind of like ice cream. Mm. I like the chia seeds on top because it adds that crunch. The first time I've ever done it, the protein powder stuck. Just something to take into consideration when you're doing it, if it's kind of like lumpy with the protein powder, just mix it every 20 seconds when you're blending it. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this, sit out in the sun, because it's sunny, and I'll see you for recipe three. And we are on the last recipe of this video, which is going to be chicken stir fry. So I know it sounds quite simple, but the aim is to make these simple stuff more tasty. So in terms of the seasonings and spices, like you don't really need to use exact ones I'm using. Sorry, one. Uh, but what I'll say is it kind of helps with the flavor. So I would try and include it as best you can. Anyway, let's dice the chicken. So what we've done there was put 200 grams of chicken in the pot, pan, and use fry light. We also took the tendons out. I'm not sure if anyone does that, but I prefer it tastes less chucky. This is the garlic, garlic granules. You don't really need to use a lot, and you could use fresh garlic if you wanted. Parsley, paprika. Just now it's just, it's just an Italian seasoning mix, which I really like. What we're gonna do as well is put the lid on this, cooks it a little bit better, makes it a little bit softer. Next thing I'm gonna do is prepare the veg. So you can really put anything in this. Really up to you, if you want more volume, use more veg. Right. What I'm doing, I'm just gonna add a bunch of veg as I go. The broccoli does take a while to cook. That's the reason why I'm adding that first. Give it that colour and a little bit more Italian. To keep it very basic as well, what I'm going to add is... So this is the light soy sauce, dark soy sauce as well. Also want to say as well, when I cook I'm very like shove stuff in. I actually don't prepare like wee bowls or anything like that. I just kind of shove everything in. Cause it is a stir fry, it doesn't really matter. And this is a meal I used to have all the time. I love stir fries. I used to mix up the meat. So if it was chicken one night, I used to have beef the next night. Never really used to use fish, but it was mostly like chicken, turkey, beef, even the chicken thighs in a type of stir fry, and it is beautiful. What I'm also going to do as well is add a little bit of honey and some sesame seeds for the end, and it's just a little bit extra texture, a little bit extra, that sounds weird, and the honey is just a little bit extra sweetness, so it'll add to the sweet and salty, the salty off the soy sauce, and the sweetness of the honey, but you don't need to add that if you want to reduce calories. It really doesn't matter until I do a taste test. So let me just try the chicken on its own. The way we steamed it as well, made it nice and soft. Yes. 
So the calories I'm going to provide for this is the bare minimum. Then I'll also show the calories for the honey and the sesame seeds. Remember, you can add whatever you want to this. You don't need to follow this exactly, but I'm just trying to give you a better idea of the meal you can make to, first off, make sure you're actually satisfied and you're full. Volume in this. Tasty, easy to make, and then something that you can make every single day. And you can also prep this, you can make larger amounts for different days. So if you want me to make any meals with certain ingredients, like more chicken meals, put them in the comments and I'll try and do that for the next one. If you enjoyed a video like this, remember to drop it a like and I will do another part two. If you want me to make it into a quick series of different cutting recipes, I would recommend you try to make sure that you're full, satisfied, and something you can be consistent with, I will do that. Also subscribe to the channel, make sure you do so. More videos coming very soon so you don't want to miss out and hit that alarm bell as that will notify you when I've uploaded a new video and it could be one like this. See the thing is, veg is tasty. You just gotta cook it right. So if you try out any of the recipes and incorporate it in your meal plan, let me know. So yes people, stay safe, stay positive, stay grateful and I will see you in the next one.